Just like generations before him, a fisherman casts his net into the Ebri lagoon. But the yields are no longer the same. Fish have become scarce in recent years as a result of pollution and habitat degradation. You can throw out the net as much as 10 times and not catch any fish. We did it twice and only got two small fish. Is that enough for us? It can't be enough. In years past, Akmel Adujema could earn up to 300 euros a month during the season. Now to make ends meet, he started making canoes. The largest can sell for the equivalent of 300 euros. I have children and one job is not enough to get by on. I have to branch out in order to earn enough money to take care of my children and myself. Boat building may have promise. With an area of 560 square kilometers, the Ebri Lagoon is separated from the Atlantic Ocean by a narrow coastal strip. Situated on its banks is Abidjan, Ivory Coast's economical capital. The push for growth has led to increased industrial activity. Many local companies treat the lagoon like a garbage dump, discharging industrial waste and sewage into the water. Scientists at the Ocean Research Center are trying to gauge the impact of the pollution. Samples have revealed the presence of pesticides and heavy metals such as mercury, arsenic and lead. The researchers say the lagoon needs more protection and would like to see the authorities implement stricter laws. This kind of legal instrument is generally lacking in West Africa. Yes, there is talk about an integrated management system, but this management word is really limited. It's not efficient because it lacks legal instruments. That has led some citizens to take action themselves. Here in Tukuzu, around 100 kilometers west of Abidjan, the NGO SOS Foray wants to put an end to the clearing of mangrove forests. These areas are a treasure trove of biodiversity and the tree's roots provide shelter for fish during reproduction. They also strengthen the soil against erosion and filter heavy metals out of the water. The NGO helps local residents organize planting schemes. Today's goal is 500 new trees. This solution will enable the restoration of resources that had disappeared or been degraded by human activity. But it will also improve the quality of life for residents. This island is kept afloat by 700,000 recycled plastic bottles. The project, which aims to raise environmental awareness, sits in the lagoon close to Abidjan. Once a month, the NGO 350 organizes educational trips here to teach children about the importance of recycling. We think that this kind of visit will help to encourage them to become ecologically minded. And in addition to that, also to enable them to be actors of change for a world to come. Fisherman Germain is optimistic. He believes the lagoon will recover and the fish will return. Yes, it will be okay. They will come back, although I don't know when. But it will take some time. So Akmel Adu Germain may want to focus on his carpentry business for now.